Okay. Moving on. My next guest and good friend, Mr. Warmth, Don Rickles, is, is finally very busy. His television series, CPO Sharky, seen on NBC Wednesdays at 9, will still be on this fall. Thank you. That's a new record. Rickles has lost more pilots than the Japanese Air Force. <laughs> I got to get mine in early, folks. He is the, he's also the host. Isn't that right, Joe? He's a host of a television special, Us Against the World, or is it U.S. Against the World? Either way. Uh, either way. U.S. or Us. Anyway, he does that on NBC September the 7th from 8 to 10 o'clock and on September the 27th through August, uh, through, not through August, on September 27th through October the 2nd, he will be at the Boston Music Hall with Stephen Eady. Busy, busy, busy. Would you welcome Don Rickle? Birds. <laughs> Working a bird museum. Well, I you, must uh, say, forgive going my, to, I, you, I know. You going but, to a Grange meeting or what? <laughs> this is a high class show. This is not some. Uh, I know, I know. Forgive me, but I, I usually don't dress that. I'm meticulous. We come from the same school of being meticulous and dress accordingly. One night you wore a white jumper suit. And I, uh, and I said to my wife, I said, "Hun, look at that. And she said, he looks absolutely adorable. That's but my wife is a lonely Jewess who just <laughs> hangs around the park going, hi. But, hey, Lou, isn't it funny staying up late? <laughs> but, uh, I just got to say something. Because well, this know. man, I... nobody realizes before... By the way, we, we all realize one thing I just told him. Oh, would you just lay there? Certainly. You get 40 million. Why don't you tell him? Collect your money and you, lay there. You started hey, doctor, to tell how me. are you, babe? Good to see you. I spoke to the hospital. Your lip is gone. Now. <laughs> you started to tell us why you're yeah. dressed this way. I'm dressed this way. Let's do one thing at a time. I'm Otherwise, you know, we get back. Fine. I get the feeling I'm at a clinic and you're my psychiatrist. No, <laughs> and I know your problems. <laughs> anyway. Uh... <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Laugh, Lou. <laughs> anyway. Uh... Four players, they don't know anything. Safe! <laughs> now, anyway, uh, the reason I'm dressed this way, I usually come out with a tie and a shirt. John knows, meticulous, but we're rehearsing CPO Sharky, and there is a rumor and a story about CPO Sharky that it went in the... And John, oh. bless his heart, since we've known each other, I've had trouble with my own show. I have the best show in the world, I say it, and uh, we are wearing uh, CPO Sharky tonight, and CPO Sharky will be on in the fall, and you people vote. And right now, I'm begging you. <laughs> no, not really, not, not really. So we'll, we'll be on in the fall, that's but there's enough. no air date, and that's why I'm dressed like this. We just got through rehearsing, and Aaron Rubin is a brilliant man. I'm glad to hear you're on in the fall. Really, I mean that. And we got a guy called Richard Slatter Slattery, who's a heck of an actor. He really I know is. who he is, yeah. Yeah, well, well fine. This, is, this isn't, you know, Stump the Stars. I see. Uh, <laughs> But here's what I gotta show you, Lou. May I show Lou something? Certainly. Oh, like I asked permission. Now, now. See, Lou, when you steal, you're 38, right, Lou? Thumb of a gun, you bad as a son of a gun. Now. And I met your wife, Virgie, in the back. She said, Lou's gonna steal more bases. <laughs> Virgie, I'll be with you in a minute. Certainly. <laughs> Virgie and D. Crawford, that's Willie Crawford's wife, and my son, Willie Crawford Jr., are best friends. <laughs> Your that's son true. is Willie Crawford son, Jr.? Willie Crawford Jr., that's oh. true. They go to the same oh, I see. Your school son, together. I see. <laughs> Man makes six million a year and goes. <laughs> but I'm on in the fall. What? But I'm set for the fall. <laughs> they ain't waiting to move something out so they can move you in. Okay. Ah, God love you, John. You always get that. <laughs> anyway, if I may. Of course. 
Yeah. And John, you played ball in the Midwest. Yes. You and your brother Dick in sure. Nebraska said, more corn, Harry. <laughs> <laughs> Did I ever tell you what we use for a ball? <laughs> okay, go. So, see, see, Lou, when you when you lead off, you're 38 now, right, Lou? Yeah. Lou, do you under, are these two tough? <laughs> Vern Rapp is the manager, right? right. And he's standing for the dial going, come on, Lou, come on, man, come on, stay, come on, come on, stay, come on, Lou. Hey, Lou, come on, stay, hey, come on, Lou, stay, hey. And Lou's going, huh? What? <laughs> See, so when you lead off, see, lean like this. And at 38, you gotta say, come on, leg. Come on, you mother. Move. Move. <laughs> but I must say, on behalf of my son, Larry, my daughter, my family, I must say, from the bottom of my heart, I am a baseball fan. Tommy Lasorda is my idol, and you're the second guy in the world that I adore, and you are a great athlete, and God bless you. Thank you. Father Plotsky. Read the sign. I'll Don't read, read it. The I'll sign. read it. We'll be right back the in a The dumbbell moment. is reading the sign. That's right. Six mil. We'll I'll be it. right back right. in a couple of minutes. We are back. With Lee Brock, Don Riggle, Holly McCullum, Eli Wallet will join us. So anyway, really, I hope the show really... Lays in there in the fall. Well, thanks, John. Uh, on, and, uh, with uh, Dick Ebersole and uh, Don Olme, we, uh, yeah. which we did the special. The, see, NBC now, they, they say third and second. It's so dumb with this rating jazz. Uh, that's the only But that's the name of the game. It, it's fair. But they have young people and young guys that are really coming up and doing a heck of a job, and I'm delighted. Yeah. Now, would you, would you be happy with that? Because you're used to, you know, jumping all over and going here and there. Now, the series, you know, locks you in. Kind of a work well, schedule. Well, you know that. We, you, you've discussed uh, this talk about you yeah. doing some films and so forth. And when we get out of our own element, and we know each other a lot of years on, on the honest bit, it, it's, it's amazing that I, I, I keep saying, like, wow, it's almost an ego trip to right. say, if I can only make it on television, like Bob Newhart, who's yeah, made right. it on television and keeps telling me that time, time again. I've, I've made it on television. I, 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 I really made it, Don. I really made it. <laughs> And you know that. You know Bob I love. He's my dear friend. We travel all over the world together. We share a cabana at the beach. And by the way, speaking of Bob, uh, which I am, yes, uh, I my, my wife and Bob Newhart are both Virgos, and uh, their birthday is, uh, is this coming weekend. I won't say what day, because uh, I don't want the whole world to say hip, hip, hooray. Right. But I'm going for a bundle. Really? And uh, <laughs> Bob's wife, Ginny, said, and she's pregnant, so she kept saying, I can't see you. And uh, she uh, is going to chip in, and we're going to have a little party. A little... And it should be nice. Uh, nice. Bob Wood, an old friend of ours, mm -hmm. a mutual friend. He used to be president of CBS. Yes, He's right. now running around the highway going, he used to be president of CBS, and cars run over him. You know. <laughs> that's the kiss of death. Everybody this... used to be president that's of right. CBS that's at right. one time. Or well, sure, the same thing at NBC when they made Bob uh, Mulholland. Mulholland. Yeah, they, they took a guy that was a drive and made him a president, you know. <laughs> and uh, Bob Mulholland was sitting there one day and said, you're the president. No! I don't want to be the president! <laughs> no! <laughs> Go ahead. Oh, shoot. Get down in your seat. I don't, what's the matter with you, Lou? You keep staring at me. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we got a film clip. Freddie keeps going like this. I thought he had a. Wait a minute, make it feel at home, Lou. Four, four! <laughs> Of course. Say it! Thanks, John, for jumping in. Hi, nice stuff there you got. When you make 60 million, you just sit in a chair and say, look at a Jewish kid killing himself. Well, they put this pillow, oh, they put this oh, over you, make you look big, make you look oh, tall. Bless you, John. <laughs> All right, bring in another Egyptian. <laughs> All right, we got a film clip. We have a film clip of you emceeing or hosting a show called Us Against the World or U.S. Right. Against the World. Us Against the World, uh, produced by Don O'Meyer, and I must say it's an exciting show. It's well, we'll be the judge kids. of that. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
<laughs> you have to let the audience say with the six. That's right. Sure. That's true. Uh, and McMahon's on, your buddy. Uh, all right. Okay, okay, fine. Roll the film. Well, do you want to explain what it's about? No, who cares? You don't care. <laughs> well, no, it's about it's yeah. Us Against the World. It's about a group of uh, wonderful stars from the different networks, all the big names, mm. Susan Katz, Al Lipschitz. <laughs> Barry Green, Marvin Farnham, yes. Lou Brock, Saul <laughs> uh, Nicky. Getting those. on my nerves, Lou. <laughs> now, and all the great stars. Uh, what you would know. you do if he stole your mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I'd be out of business and have his own florist shop. Right. Anyway, I hope they see uh, Us Against the World. When is that show? Wednesday night. <laughs> <laughs> I sound like Bob Hope. Give me some pencils. Wednesday night, fella. Right, then I'm going to be in a Buffalo for the... Right, and I'll be at the State Fair in the Arkansas. Strictly heat fun. Okay. I'm bad at plugging things, but Wednesday well, no, night... Uh, you spent 20 7. minutes plugging uh, CFO Harkey. No, CFO... <laughs> <laughs> Let me write that C down. C, C, I always mix Let that up. Let me write that it's down. A -P Guy from Midwest a destroys Jewish comedian. E-P-O... Oh, look at this. He's got it all fixed. That's right. No... <laughs> Shut up. You what were, is this, Dame that tune? Hey, you were in the Navy, weren't you? What's that? You were... No, I was a SEAL during the war. You were... <laughs> you were in the Navy, were you Yes, not? I was in the Navy. What was your rank in the Navy? I'm serious. I was a seaman first class. That's you a... were an ensign. I remember that. That's right. And you guys used to sit in the wonderful quarters going, look at the way this seaman is breaking his kumquats. <laughs> well, I was a seaman first Look at this. The whole audience went, what's that? Kumquats. <laughs> Lou Brock went, I know what kumquats. <laughs> Lou Brock never said a thing. I heard it. Lou didn't say anything. I thought it was what I said. I didn't hear it. Get to that. the film, will you, dummy? I'm you going. see, Freddie, he's not landing planes. <laughs> right. Film. My time out, Cleveland. This is. Yeah, you want to see it again? <laughs> okay. Run the film. His line? Watch anything. I'll take anything. <laughs> 15 years, you dig. You dig. <laughs> you go to the well after 15 okay, years. Dig. Okay, here it is. Watch this. Look, don't coach the opposition. She's my friend. Hey! Now a man that skipped school too many days in a row and got lucky on television and is now running through the crowd introducing himself. <laughs> Mr. Gabe Kaplan. running around the woods looking for his bear. Good luck. Turn around here, uh, Dan, because Dan has had quite a day. He has... Uh, you look good, don't you? Look in the middle there. What a sandwich. Like, <laughs> what a sandwich. Here we are. He forgot his The Ritz lips. brothers are back in town. <laughs> the guy on the end's a holy man, and the other guy's an Irish guy, and I'm just Harry Lippman looking for a day job. <laughs> anyway, you Dan, dummy. you've saved the day. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Congratulations. That was a very close uh, game, the first game, and you win it on a dead heat. Thank Perfect. you. Well, I just want to keep the United States out front. Ah, that's great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next event. Oh, put that down in your, uh, in your calendar. Sure, and mark that down. I want to see that giant... <laughs> what are you laughing at? I want to see that big pinball machine again. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow, that'll, that'll keep him up. <laughs> I feel like Chris Kringle. <laughs> Does Ed, does McMahon enter any of those events? Is That's he your buddy, yes. He, 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 he worked with me and he kept saying, gee, this is great. You well, know? What, is he, what does he enter? Does, uh, what is he in? No, he doesn't get in the events, well, but he, just he, he figures out the score and Ed's very, 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 very goodness. He, and he kept saying to me, uh, I, hope, I hope John doesn't mind. And I said, well, I'll call him. He said, no, no, no. <laughs> He was beautiful, really. He's a... What? He has to go? You are you rehearsing, aren't you, really, tonight? Yeah. Uh, for the show that's going to be on. Oh. No? 
see? Mm. Well, Daphne. Hey, folks, if you could give clothes to my family, I'd appreciate it. Anyway, the show will be on this fall on um, probably Armed Forces Radio. <laughs> But they are searching. No, it's going to be on. It just it's a, it's a matter of programming, as they say. Can, can I find the can right? I tell you the punchline? Well, what's the punchline? Let's line? all have health, and I thank you, John, for being a good fella and my buddy. I love you. Okay, Thanks. go to work. Go to work.